Hello students. In today's video of computer graphics, let us learn to design a chessboard using C language. Using C. In first step, data files are required stdio.h then second header file conio.h third header file graphics.h then word main Int gd is equal to detect gm init graph initialization of graph is there ampersand gd ampersand gm then path where the drivers of graphics are there inside my system C turbo C3 PGI and get CH and close graph before I start proceeding with the designing of chessboard let us understand how to write the code of bar. Suppose I write 100, 100, 200, and 200. These are the starting points. Mm -hmm. Let us check the code of bar. Hint left, top, right, and bottom means top left corner and right bottom corner is there for designing let us execute the program this bar is there now we have to design 64 such type of bars with alternate color suppose one is white and second is black or one is red second is green like this you can design with the any color let us try to code for that let us take two variables one is mid x and mid y i j suppose these variables are required but you can change accordingly no problem what is the meaning of uh, mid x? We already completed with this content. Get max x divided by 2 means the maximum value of x divided by 2. What is the meaning of uh, mid y? Mid y means get max y divided by 2 means the maximum value of y divided by 2. Suppose at uh, top of the screen, I have to write chessboard out text xy is for writing text and uh, what are the parameters required mid x minus 40 let us say and mid y minus 220 suppose I am writing at the top chessboard let us execute the program at the top of the screen we can see the alphabets showing chessboard suppose one rectangle is required outer rectangle 
if you can write the coordinate on your copy you can design the content easily mid x minus 202 mid y minus 202 then mid x plus 202 and mid y plus 202 basically I have taken 200-200 space for my chessboard that's why I have taken 202 means outside uh, the chessboard one rectangle is required one block is there now inside that block suppose I design bar mid x minus 200 mid y minus 200 then mid x plus 200 and mid y plus 200 let us execute again the content one bar is there inside one rectangular box means base is ready for that set fill style suppose for filling other boxes I am using hatch fill style and let the color is red for designing the bar I am using for loop I less than equal to 300 I is equal to I plus 100 after that suppose one bar is there bar mid x minus 200 plus i means a gap of 100 is there then mid y minus 200 then mid x minus 150 plus i and mid y minus 150 suppose in increment it's an increment on only in in the value of x let's execute it some bars are there if i have to draw the bars below this then i have to write one more code bar mid x minus 150 plus i mid y minus 150 and mid x minus 100 plus i and mid y minus 100 let us execute this content next uh, value is there now I have to repeat these contents on the second line for that I have to design one more for loop for j is equal to 0 j less than equal to 300 j is equal to j plus 
100 and just add j to the coordinates of y because we have to move downward each and every value just close the brace here then execute our chessboard is ready hope you enjoy my video thank you don't forget to like the video and comment in the comment boxes thank you